Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March 31st, 2024. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 814 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Crystal Liu's Tale of Rose passes review. Cao Liying begins filming What a Wonderful World, an upcoming mystery sci-fi drama. The stars gather in Shanghai for the 2024 television series of China Quality Ceremony. And Zheng Hehuizi's studio releases a statement regarding In Blossom's character poster lineup exclusion. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered, three dramas for today and the past few days. There's Fry Me to the Moon, a female-centric modern drama starring Song Yi, Charmaine She, and Li Chun. It premiered on March 29th. I'd previously referred to it as Fly Me to the Moon. I'd erroneously thought it was a typo on the drama's part, but now I'm guessing it's a play on words. The drama follows three women whose lives intersect in the city of Chengdu. According to Baidu, Song Yi's character returns to Chengdu after working in Beijing and goes into business with her best friend, played by Li Chun. Things are disrupted when a restaurant businesswoman, played by Charmin She, enters the picture. Fry Me to the Moon is slated for 24 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. Then there's The Swimsuit Saga, a retro drama starring Chao Shan and Yang Zishan. It premiered on March 29th as well. According to Baidu, the story spans the better part of two decades. It follows Chao Shan's character, Pen Jingxi, who is accused of profiteering and as a result goes to jail and loses the qualification to go to university. He doesn't stay beaten down though. After he is released from prison, he starts a business that makes swimsuits and prospers, hence the swimsuit saga. Yang Zhishan plays the love of his life who stands by him through it all. The drama is slated for 37 episodes and is available on iQiyi, no English subs at the moment. Lastly, there's The Farewell Song, a modern suspense drama starring Li Tingting and Zhou Chengao. It premiered earlier today. According to Baidu, the two lead actors are childhood sweethearts, but an incident involving their families changes everything. She becomes the daughter of the victim, and he the son of the suspect. The Farewell Song is slated for 24 episodes and is available on iQiyi, no English subs at the moment. And that's it for premiere dates. Moving on, The Tale of Rose recently obtained their distribution license. I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that The Tale of Rose had passed review. The review board made it official on March 22nd when they issued the drama a distribution license for 40 episodes. The modern drama, which stars Crystal Liu, wrapped filming in November last year. Here she is with her wrap bouquet. Here is a picture taken on wrap day of the cast and crew at the Shanghai Bund with the distinct looking Oriental Pearl Tower in the background. According to Baidu, in The Tale of Rose, Crystal is Huang Yimei, an artistically talented girl who was born into a scholarly family. She enters the workforce at a young age and eventually starts her own business in the field of art curation. She meets different men, all of whom have an impact on her life. These men are played by guest stars Lin Kenxing, Lin Yi, Peng Guanying, and Wallace Huo. Tong Dawei plays Crystal's brother and it looks like he has a storyline with Wan Qian. Here are the two co-stars in a stare-down. The Tale of Rose is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Tencent. Next up, drama bootings. I have two for you guys today. The first is Gui Nu, literally translated as Noble Girl, a costume drama starring Chen Duling and Xing Yun Lai. They announced themselves and shared photos from their booting ceremony on March 27th. Here are the two leads flashing red envelopes. Here is the entire cast and crew at Heng Tian Studios on opening day. Chen Duling last appeared in a supporting role in Judge D's Mystery, whereas Xing Yun Lai has a supporting role in the currently streaming Legend of Shen Li. 
According to Baidu, Chen Duling plays Zhuang Hanyan, a girl who is abandoned as a child and raised in the southern countryside. When she returns to her family in the capital, she catches the eye of Fu Yunxi, played by Xin Yunlai. During their courtship, she reconciles with her mother and exposes the hypocritical and unjust actions of the Zhuang family head. Noble Girl is slated for 30 episodes and will stream on Tencent. The other drama to recently boot up is What a Wonderful World. What a Wonderful World is an upcoming mystery sci-fi drama starring Zhao Liying and Ying Fang. They announced their lead cast on March 31st. At the helm is Xu Bing, who last directed the Xiao Chan Li Qing drama The Youth Memories. Zhao Liying Studio shared a video featuring the actress on the day. Here she is giving a speech and unveiling the camera. She of course stars in the currently streaming Legend of Shen Li. Co-star Ying Fang last had a guest role in Fearless Blood, and before that, a supporting role in The Long River. What a Wonderful World also shared photos from their booting ceremony, which was held on the same day as the announcement. There isn't much in terms of a synopsis yet, I'll update when there's more info. The drama is slated for just 8 episodes and will stream on IGE. That's it for drama updates, celebrity updates are next, and today we begin with Dragon TV's 2024 television series of China Quality Ceremony, which was recently held in Shanghai. On the evening of March 28th, stars and industry bigwigs gathered to celebrate and honor recent Chinese TV series and the people behind them. There were a bunch of awards given on the night, over 40 of them. According to Baidu, the awards are, quote, determined by scores from professional authorities, unquote. Here are a few awards I'll mention. Blossoms Shanghai and the folks behind it were the big winners of the night, taking home 10 honors, including Adapted Screenplay and Producer of the Year. Hu Ke took home Excellent Star of the Year. Tiffany Tang took home Breakthrough Actor of the Year. She was joint recipient of the award with Bai Jingting, who starred in Always on the Move. And Xing Chile took home True Ability Actor of the Year. She was joint recipient of the award with Ding Yongtai, who starred in Always on the Move. Also making a splash on the night was The Long Season, which took home Original Screenplay, Producer, and Director of the Year. Its star, Fan Wei, took home Glory Actor of the Year. Imperfect Victim took home Original Screenplay and Director of the Year as well. They were joint winners with The Long Season. Imperfect Victim also took home Producer of the Year. They were joint winners of that with Blossom Shanghai and The Long Season. Additionally, its star, Zhou Xun, took home Excellent Star of the Year. She was joint winner of that with Hu Ke. Blossom Shanghai, The Long Season, and Imperfect Victim. Those three dramas were the big winners on the night. Here now are a few other individual winners. Leo Wu won for Influential Star of the Year. Claudia Wang and Wen Go Gao won for Pioneering Stars of the Year. Xiao Chan and Angel Zhao won for Media Focus Stars of the Year. They both weren't able to make it on the night, so they sent their respective videos. Bai Yu and Li Qing won for Power of Expression Stars of the Year. Simon Gong and Johnny Huang won Appealing Stars of the Year. Johnny wasn't able to make it, so Simon took the stage solo. And the last honor I'll mention, Liu Yuning won Golden Voice of the Year. Congrats to all the winners. Lastly, for celebrity updates, Zheng He Huizi recently shared a statement to urge calm. On March 30th, the costume drama In Blossom shared a batch of character posters that featured some of the ladies of the show. The caption read, Clear-minded and independent, brave and tenacious, every woman is a blooming flower. Missing from the lineup was Zheng He Huizi. The 29-year-old actress, who has a guest starring role in the drama, plays the lead character Yang Chai Wei. Early in the drama, Yang Chai Wei is forced into a face swap, and that's when lead actress Zhu Jingyi takes over the character. Zheng He Huizi has received much praise for her relatively brief appearance in the drama. As well, there have been rumors that Zhu Jingyi's team and fans aren't happy that the former has stolen the latter's limelight. In any case, Zheng Huizi's absence from the aforementioned lineup triggered some discussion on Weibo. 
According to Sohu Entertainment, some netizens pointed out that even the child actor who played a young Yang Tai Wei was included in the lineup. Why wasn't Zheng He Huizi? In response to the discussion, Zheng He Huizi's studio released a statement. Among other things, they wrote, One Weibo post cannot contain all the ladies, be it flowers or grass. Its life does not need to be shown or recognized for it to exist. The weight of the roles are different. Naturally, they will be displayed differently. Dear friends, please don't worry about this. The studio also addressed recent character controversies, acting comparisons, and other incidents. Quote, We have never engaged in behavior such as bullying, hiring trolls to slander co-stars, or calling for the drama to be buried. For those who have been misled by rumors, rumors only stop at the wise. Please don't spread them a second time. We have preserved relevant evidence of keyboard warriors. Unquote. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 216, March 31st, 2024. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top 10 drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, Five Kings of Thieves, the Republican era drama stars Darren Wang and Ren Ming. Number 9, Chinatown Detective Season 2, the modern drama stars Roy Chu and Shang Yixian. Number 8, Yongan Dream, the costume drama stars Ouyang Nana and Jeremy Xu. Number 7, Growing Pains of Swordsman, the costume drama stars Sun Yi Zhou and Lyric Lan. Number 6, The Hunter, the modern drama stars Zhang Sung Wen and Annabelle Yao. Number 5, White Cat Legend, the costume drama stars Ryan Ding and Zhou Qi. Number 4, Everyone Loves Me, the modern drama stars Ling Yi and Zhou Ye. Number 3, Guess Who I Am, the modern drama stars Zhang Yixi and Wang Zixi. Number 2, Burning Flames, the costume drama stars Ellen Ren and Fair Sing. And number 1, In Blossom, the costume drama stars Xu Jingyi and Liu Xueyi. In Blossom is champion for a second week running. It garnered 570 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Imagination Season. The modern drama stars Jia Nailiang and Bridget Chiao. Number 9, Angels Fall Sometimes. The modern drama stars Lan Di Li and Ling Yi. Number 8, The Gate of Xuan Wu. The costume drama stars Ren Zhong and Tong Lei. Number 7, Islands. The modern drama stars Xu Fan and Sandra Ma. Number 6, Above the Rivers. The modern drama stars Vango Gao and Cheng Shu. Number 5, Always on the Move. The retro drama stars Bai Qingting and Ding Yong Tai. Number 4, Simple Days. The modern drama stars Chen Xiao and Tong Yao. Number 3, Ode to Joy Season 5. The modern drama stars Maggie Jiang and Ora Yang. Number 2, War of Faith. The Republican era drama stars Wang Yipo and Li Qing. And number 1, The Legend of Shen Li. The costume drama stars Xiao Li Ying and Lin Gen Xing. The Legend of Shen Li ends the week with 631 points, making it champion for the first time since its premiere. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week and I'll see you guys Tuesday. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers.